you have a rock garden, you might be wondering, how on earth am I going to fertilize it? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fertilize your rock garden, even if there's a lot of landscape fabric in it. So here we are at the base of one of my white Mayland landscape roses. I'm going to be giving this rose some potash. When this garden was constructed, we used a ton of landscaping fabric. And we'll just dig into the ground and show you. There is some right here. And basically everything, all the shrubs were planted by digging out a hole and sticking them into the desired location in the landscape fabric. I have a lot of flowers in this garden that are growing in the gravel, which is on top of the landscape fabric, and they grow just fine. And I fertilize them just the way I fertilize the shrubs. So I'm going to show you what this pot ash looks like. It is white granules. I would say they look like coarse salt, and I am just going to spread them right on top of the rocks. Some of them stay on the surface. Some of them sort of get down into the gravel. Next, I'm going to be fertilizing with the Bone Meal Plus fertilizer. This contains rock phosphate and humic acid, as well as regular bone meal. It's organic, and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see if the camera will focus. I would describe it as coarse coffee ground like substance. Just going to put it at the base of my rose bush, a couple handfuls, scatter it around. Next, I'm going to be fertilizing with a Gia Green rock phosphate. This also promotes blooms. And this is what rock phosphate looks like if you've never seen it. And we are just going to scatter that around this rose bush. Next, I'm going to add some kelp meal, also from Gia Green. Kelp meal contains a ton of micronutrients that are awesome for all plants. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to scatter it right around my rose bush. Next. I'm going to use Power Bloom, also from Gia Green. This fertilizer is new to me, but definitely is supposed to promote flowering. And it looks like a gray sand. So we're just going to scatter that into the area around my rows. If I lived in a climate where there wasn't a lot of precipitation or rainfall, I would be watering these in. But we get rain here every two to three days or more often so I'm not going to water these in. Next I'm going to show you how I fertilize my creeping phlox ground cover. For this ground cover all that I do is I take my fertilizer I'm going to be giving these creeping phlox some power bloom and I just sprinkle it over top give it a light dusting. Some of it will blow away, but I'm not worried because it's just going to go into another plant in the rock garden. You can also lift up your plant and put it right at the base to get right in there. I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of kelp meal for the foliage. And we'll give it a little bit of rock phosphate, more blooms. And for good measure, a little bit of bone meal plus fertilizer. If you don't have access to this many fertilizers and you have a rock garden, I would recommend picking one to promote flowering and that's probably your bone meal and one to promote healthy foliage and just overall plant health. And that would be your kelp meal if you're able to find kelp meal in your area or alternatively seaweed extract is a great alternative. 
those are both great options. I am using what I have available. I am lucky to have lots of fertilizers available here, but I know that's not the case everywhere. Next, I'm going to fertilize my Grace Ward plants. I have quite a few of these guys, and I'm going to give them a little bit of kelp meal and a little bit of Gia Green Power Bloom. To fertilize Grace Ward, simply lift up the plant. You can see we're going right to the base of the plant. I'm going to use my foot to hold it down and I'm just going to spread some kelp meal and some power bloom under the plant. And then we put it back down and you would never know it has been fertilized. Here we have my wallflower bush, which is getting ready to bloom soon. Perennial and a spariva shrub. And for these guys, all I'm going to do is give them a little bit of the Gia Green Power Bloom. And I'm simply just going to sprinkle it on my wallflower shrub and I'm just going to give it a wee bit of kelp meal. Just going to sprinkle it around. And I'm also going to give it a little bit of power bloom. This is what it looks like. We're just going to sprinkle it around the shrub. Now, wallflower is actually growing completely in the landscape fabric. It was in a wildflower mix that I planted. And it does just fine growing like that. It was never planted directly into the soil below. So it basically grows in rock and probably a little debris that leaves that have broken down over the years that have created little bits of soil, but it doesn't grow in the true native soil. So I fertilize it like everything else and it does just fine. Here we have a tiny little Unimus shrub, a rescue from my parents' garden. All I'm going to do is give it kelp meal, something good for its foliage and we are just going to sprinkle that around and that's it very baby patty's purple hebe shrub and i'm going to give it power bloom a little bit of that and also some kelp meal for the foliage and let's give it a little dusting I could wash those leaves off, but I probably won't. For pretty much the entire rock garden, I'm going to be going around and sprinkling my Bone and Meal Plus fertilizer. I have hundreds, if not thousands, of flowers that come up from seed every year in this garden. All different varieties, tons of wildflowers, and I just want a lot of color. So I give these plants and flowers, lots of bone meal, sometimes regular bone meal, sometimes bone meal plus fertilizer. And I have a really colorful garden every season. I'm going to link a video or two of what this garden looks like at other times of the year so you have an idea. And I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle out my bone meal plus fertilizer. Here we are beside my rhododendrons and for these guys I am simply wanting to promote flowers. They do not have any diseases, they never have, probably never will. So all I'm going to give them is the power bloom. I'm just going to take some and sprinkle it around the base of the plant. It is a little dusty and you could wear a mask if you're worried about that. I probably should, but I'm not motivated to, so we'll skip that for now. And I'm also going to give these guys rock phosphate to promote blooming. And 
find some bone meal plus fertilizer. We're gonna give them a bone meal plus fertilizer. This is what it looks like. And hopefully we get lots of blooms this season. I'm going to show you how I mix up my reindeer's natural plant foods, seaweed extract in a can of water this big. So first, this is what seaweed extract looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. I want to call it black gold. It is so beautiful. I put a heat tablespoon into my watering can. Ideally do this with a hose that is not leaking. So this is what my seaweed extract looks like. It has zero odor and is absolutely beautiful. I'm just watering in the Hebe fertilized. I'm watering in my Hebe that we fertilized today. Thank you so much for watching my little fertilizing a rock garden tutorial. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and we will see you very soon in another video. Bye for now.